Thank you everyone um, for joining us tonight. Um, my name is Dr. Copeland Smith and I'm the chair of the Windsor Human Relations Commission. And joining me tonight are my other fellow commissioners, um, our vice chair, um, Lisette Latour Muzinski, our secretary, Jody Denno, our parliamentarian, Monica Nugent, our uh, student rep, Alex Goulds, our commissioner, Charles Copeland, Judy Ann Cook, Marie Benzens, Natalie Greenfield, and Leanne Tyson. So on behalf of the commission, we thank you all for being here tonight. I also want to say thank you to WinTV for recording tonight's event. So if you'd like to get a playback, it'll be posted later. And also thank you to the LP Wilson Senior Center for allowing us to use this space to have a great gathering tonight. So I'm gonna share a couple of brief opening remarks, a poem, and then we're gonna get off into the awards. All right, so tonight we are celebrating the impact that our honorees, our fellow community members, have had on the Windsor community. This is our fourth annual Phenomenal Women Award ceremony that commemorates the service and dedication each honoree has showcased with the following criteria. Honorees have promoted the elimination of sexism and discriminatory attitudes regarding gender equity and practices in Windsor. Honorees have worked to establish cooperative relationships with groups concerned with gender equity and promoted equal opportunities actively with Windsor initiatives. Honorees have worked to further understand of a, un, understanding of a multicultural society in Windsor and has worked to communicate and understand between gender, sexual orientation, and women leadership groups in Windsor. So every year we host this annual event to honor, celebrate, and continue the call to service that each of our honorees have demonstrated here tonight. And tonight we share the jubilation for the many years of service um, that our honorees have done and that they will continue to do ahead. So if you would like to continue to support our scholarship and other initiatives as well, feel free to donate. Ask any of our commissioners about our QR code to um, think about donating. That's one of our initiatives that we have to support young women, um, specifically within uh, Windsor, young people in general, um, to give back to our community. So without further ado, I'm going to read our Phenomenal Women poem. And um, for those of you who knew the former chair, our former chair, Judge Kevin Washington, um, he created this award because there was, a, there was a need to showcase the work that women have done. And today on International Women's Day, we're doing that. We're showcasing what women have done, women or um, femme individuals, and what they have contributed to the community, whether it is with, through service, through politics, through education, through ingenuity. So we are here tonight to honor and to celebrate you all. And so when you think about this poem, thinking about what womanhood, what all of this means to you. This is kind of the inspiration of, of the award. So this is called Phenomenal Women by Maya Angelou. Pretty woman, wonder where my secret lies. I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model size. But when I tell, when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. I say it's in the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my step, the curl of my lips. I am a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, that's me. I walk into a room, just as cool as you please. And to a man, the fellows stand or fall down on their knees. They swarm around me, a hive of honeybees. I say, it's the fire in my eyes, the flash of my teeth, and the swing in my waist, and the joy in my feet. I am a woman. Phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. Men themselves have wondered what they see in me. They try so hard, but they can't touch my inner mystery. When I try to show them, they say they still can't see. I say it's in the arch of my back, the sun of my smile, the ride of my breasts, the grace of my style. I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about or have to talk real loud. When, when you see me passing, I ought to make you proud. I say it's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need of my care. Because I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, 
That's me. That's the poem. Um, good evening, everyone. As uh, Cassie mentioned, my name is Monica Nugent. I'm the parliamentarian for the Human Relations Commission. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to, to um, uh, Representative Jane Garibay and Senator McRory in the back. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Um, I just wanted to recognize that our elected officials who are in a very busy legislative session right now as well are here uh, tonight to support the fabulous women of Windsor as well. So thank you for being here. All right, so we're gonna get started with our awards. So here's how it's gonna work. As we read the awards, the honoree, you're just gonna come right up. You're gonna have, you're gonna receive your plaque. We're gonna have a brief photo opportunity over here <laughs> to take a couple pictures and then you can sit back down and we'll keep going. Um, at the end of our um, share out for the Chairman's and Phenomenal Woman Award, we're gonna do a group picture. So just, just as a heads up. <laughs> All right, so the first um, award that we're gonna give out here is to Sue Tate Picara. I'm gonna read a little bit about this. Come on up. completely forgot what you just said. It's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, let me let me share the good things that you've done. Oh, yay. Oh gosh, look at that. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. No problem. So for many years in Windsor, Sue Tate Procaro is the face of the Windsor Historical Society. At the Historical Society, Sue is a leader in promoting the Historical Society's inclusion strategy and welcoming all people to programs, events, and outreach efforts. Sue is a leader in the Windsor Historical Society's long-standing effort to become a more inclusive organization and focus on addressing racial and ethnic inclusion. She has been active in promoting the society's many black history programs and exhibits, and she's facilitated the first Windsor Caribbean American celebration at Windsor Historical Society. Most recently, the society hosted a small black business and cultural pop-up market in February 2024. In addition to her work at the Historical Society, Sue is extremely active in volunteer initiatives connected to the Boy Scouts, the Windsor Chamber of Commerce, Windsor Veterans, the Shad Derby Festival, and numerous other community initiatives. Sue embraces all people with a warm and welcoming presence and helps instill a sense of belonging in Windsor and at the Windsor Historical Society. And I want to say thank you because you really have inspired a lot of young artists and people to be and do better, myself included. So I just want to say thank you for being phenomenal. <laughs> Where am I going now? Pictures. <laughs> Pictures. <laughs> Photo walk. we have a, uh, a citation for the state of Connecticut for Sue. Um, I'll read this one. Jay, I'll let you read the, the rest. You can read them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, they all, they, they read the same, so they, they, the names change just for the honor. It says, State of Connecticut General Assembly official citation introduced by myself, um, Senator Douglas McCory, Senator John Kinsel, uh, Representative Khan, and Representative Garibay. Be it hereby known to all that the Connecticut General Assembly offers a serious congratulations to Sue Tate Parker in recognition of being honored at the Phenomenal Women of Windsor event for your achievements with our community. Your dedication to making a positive impact in the lives of others has not gone unnoticed. We hope you continue to share your inspiration, story, and life lessons with others. The entire membership extends its best wishes on this memorial occasion and expresses the hope of continued success given this day, the fifth, oh, sorry, sixth day of March, 2024, <laughs> signed by the Speaker of the House, Matt Ritter, and Secretary of State, Stephanie Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Welcome. <laughs> All right. So next up, we have Anuva Kali. Anuva Kali has been the guiding force behind diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives at Loomis Chafee. Her contributions and leadership at Loomis include being a three-time PRISM president, president and founder of the South Asian Society Affinity Group, member of the Pelican Support Group, and collaborator with the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Internship Program. Since her first year in Windsor, Anuva brought a passion and willingness to give back, share and educate those around her with an empathetic and understanding approach that facilitates and fosters discussion with people from different backgrounds and perspectives. This approach allows her to be part of numerous panels for the Windsor Human Relations Commission, a presenter at the Student of Color Symposium, a contributor to the National Student Diversity Leadership Conference, and at the Footsteps Conference. She has created courageous conversation workshops on topics such as environmental justice and colorism, to name a few, all in the effort of addressing the needs of the students at Loomis and our greater Windsor community. Her contributions make our world and community more equitable and inclusive. So without further ado, um, we have a, 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 a person on behalf of Anuva who will be receiving her award. So I'm gonna invite Lillian to come up. Thank you very much. Um, Anuva couldn't be here. Um, she lives in Kansas City and we're on break. Um, <laughs> but uh, we hope that uh, some of the commissions, commissioners can come April 1st and present it in front of the Loomis Chafee community. Um, she is honored beyond belief. Her parents have not stopped calling. Um, so thank you very much. It's, it's an honor for us who live on an island to be a part of this great, great town. We grow as much from you all and I as a teacher there, um, appreciate all the collaboration that you do in this town um, and welcoming our students from all over the world. So thank you. They read the same. I don't think you want me to read it again. <laughs> but I want to make sure she's recognized. And thank you for all the work. And let Anua know that we appreciate all her work she's done. So thank you. Thank you. All right, next we have Shelly Davis. Excellent, and I'm going to read a little bit about you. <laughs> Shelly Davis is a fierce advocate who serves as the first black woman elected as executive vice president at the Connecticut AFL-CIO, an organization of hundreds of labor unions that seek to improve workers' lives. Shelly is also president of the Hartford Federation of Paraeducators. In these roles, she works tirelessly to advocate for gender and racial equity. Shelly is an advocate for children with disabilities and has worked for over 25 years supporting children in Hartford as a paraeducator. This has led her to be a regular visitor and supporter of the Blue Dragonfly Gift Shop in Windsor to provide support for the organization and individuals who work there. Shelly's focus is always on educating others regarding the needs of children and adults who are not traditionally heard and are underserved. Her important work impacts and betters not only the community in Windsor, but statewide. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and picture. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's nice to see that picture. Hey. Wow. That's what whatever was in it. Oh, yeah. One for Shelly, too. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks for having me. All right. Next, we have Delaney Denham. Delaney Denno embodies justice and compassion in the Windsor and Loomis Chafee communities. 
While a student, Delaney was the president of PRISM and a committed ally to many affinity groups and organizations. She created opportunities for students to grow. She leaned into discomfort, all the while being a champion for people of different backgrounds. Delaney strove to bring different perspectives to conversations, workshops, and presentations. Her continued social justice work has given Delaney the opportunity to serve on various panels for the Windsor Human Relations Commission and has taken her beyond Windsor to different states and countries where she continues to educate herself in sustainability efforts with a close look at access to different communities of those efforts. A beekeeper, barista, environmental and social justice activist, one of her most impressive works was building a Paris for Access, a project focused on researching black beekeepers, their long history of community outreach, and the opportunities entering the field for black beekeepers would bring to urban settings. While a student at Loomis Chafee, Delaney was awarded the Kente Cloth for her dedication to for, for forming the diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts of the school, and the Matthew J. Whitehead Award presented to the student whose actions have been instrumental in creating and supporting an inclusive community. So congratulations, uh, Delaney, and we're gonna have a representative from our school coming up. Okay, right. I'm good. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, Delaney graduated from Loomis last year, um, and um, for a small town girl to make such a world impact is something that I hold dear to my heart. She has been a part of my life um, as a family, but also um, just a steadfast person uh, to hold um, and to one of the best allies you could ever imagine. Um, Delaney is the epitome of the love of this town. She loves her native Windsor, and I could not be more proud for her to be both a representative of Loomis JP, but also this town. Thanks, thank you. I don't know we love her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, last but certainly not least, Kalitha Brown. All the great things you've done. All right, so Kalitha Brown is the development director at Connecticut Kids, or Connect Kids, and an active volunteer with the Windsor Historical Society. Serving first as a key member of the Strategic Planning Committee at the Society and beginning in 2021 as a member of the Board of Directors, in each role she has been an active and supportive voice in the Society's effort to become a more inclusive organization. Kalitha is committed to education and promoting equity and inclusion in our community. As a volunteer committee member, board member, and leader at the Windsor Historical Society, she has not only been a strong voice in the development of the Society's inclusion efforts, but has actively connected people and organizations to the society to foster and share a more inclusive understanding of the Windsor community and its history. So thank you for being phenomenal women. So if we can have a group picture for our honorees to recognize, be in conversation with them. There's some food here in the back. Um, there's cake, there's some light refreshments. Drinks are here to the right. So feel free to stay, to, to gather, and to celebrate these phenomenal women. And thank you again for joining us. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, our commissioners, come up commissioners. Please, thank you.